Northwestern Kansas, I still haven't forgotten about you. And today we're going to talk about Rollins County, named after John Aaron Rollins. John Rollins is going to be born in Illinois in 1831. In fact, he's born in Galena, Illinois, the same hometown of Ulysses S. Grant. And that's going to come important later. Rollins' family took place in the California Gold Rush in the 1840s. Um, his father died, leaving him in charge of the claims. He goes back to Illinois, and he is a staunch Democrat. So much so, he gives speeches in support of Stephen A. Douglas, who was running as a Democratic candidate for president against Abraham Lincoln. But he was also a unionist. He makes um, several speeches supporting the unionist, and he becomes known as a unionist Democrat. When war breaks out, he immediately abolishes his alliance to the Democratic Party and says this is not about alliance to a political party. This is about preserving the union. Rollins is later going to join up and become a close friend and confidant of fellow Galena boy, Ulysses S. Grant. Rollins is going to become one of the staunchest defenders of Ulysses S. Grant, especially when claims of alcoholism creep up during his service in the United States Army. When Grant is elected president, Rollins is going to be named the Secretary of War directly under Ulysses S. Grant. Prior to this, however, Rollins contracted consumption, or as today we know it, tuberculosis. Uh, Grant offered to give Rollins command over the military in the southwestern parts of the United States, specifically in the area of Arizona Territory, where there was dry air, which was better for people who had consumption. If you wondered why Doc Holliday was sitting there during Tombstone and like why he was coughing, he had consumption. He was in Arizona because it was supposed to help him. Anyways, Rollins refuses, saying he must be by the president's side, and he accepts the position of Secretary of War. While Secretary of War, there's going to be a couple things he does that are kind of, er. Number one, the other best friend of Ulysses S. Grant is... William Tecumseh Sherman. What Rollins severely limits the amount of authority that Sherman has over the military. So much so that Sherman, Grant, and Rollins, who are all good friends, get into a fight. And Sherman, um, Sherman and Grant, who get in a big arguing match over this, um, never really repair their friendship, at least to the level it was uh, during the Civil War. Other controversies include um, trying to arm uh, Cuban rebels to overthrow uh, Spanish rule in Cuba. Yeah, he was Theodore Roosevelt before Theodore Roosevelt. And pushing to pass anti-Mormon legislation for the military in Utah. He does, however, approve the building of the Brooklyn Bridge. So there's, there's, there's a highlight. Unfortunately, as he goes on, his tuberculosis gets worse and he's going to die from it. He's called back to Washington and the astonishment of Grant and the rest of the cabinet. He shows up. Grant and him have some last moments where Grant has to leave to go on another trip, and Rollins continues to get work. Sherman comes to stand by his side even though they had had a falling out, and Rollins keeps asking, uh, where's Grant? Where's the president? I need to see the president one last time. And Grant is doing everything he can to get there, and every time he asks, um, where's Grant? Sherman replies, he's just 10 minutes away. Unfortunately, Grant never made it, and that's the end for Rollins.